Hi guys, today we are going to be doing a first impressions, try on, review, all that good stuff of the Kylie Cosmetics Christmas collection. I was so excited about this. I don't know if it was necessary because it's Kylie Cosmetics or I'm because I'm just I'm trying to feel the Christmas spirit. My soul is like the Grinch and I don't love Christmas, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get excited. So anyways, welcome to my channel if you're new here. Um, I got some highlighters from the Kylie Cosmetics collection, uh, mostly all the highlighters, and a blush. So we are going to go ahead and get into this video. If you're not subscribed, please do not forget down below. It is the giving season, so be nice and push subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so first let's start off with packaging, swatches, price, all that good stuff. So the packaging is this baby blue, which I don't mind it because... It's still, it's still Christmas-esque. It's got the snowflake and stuff, but baby blue, I feel like a lot of people were like, that is so not Christmas. But this is like our third collection, Christmas collection, maybe more. So I totally get why they kind of had to go a different route this year. It's kind of like, it's a boy. Like if I was going to a baby shower, it's, it's that color. But like I said, I don't mind. And what I like is that the actual products reflect the packaging. Like they are that nice baby blue. So one, you can definitely like distinctly grab what you want. And then like her Halloween collection, like the actual packaging was just black. So it didn't really match the box and the packaging was so cool. That's one thing I always love about Kylie's products. All right, so I'm gonna pick up Mary Bright with a wet brush. I wanna try this one on the eyes and we'll try the other two on the face. I just, you know, I only have two cheeks. What do you expect me to do? So let's go ahead and pat that on. I did put a crease color in. Um, just so it wasn't so bare. But with Max Fix Plus, this really isn't too messy, so that's really nice. And like I said, like, you can really use these for whatever. You can use these for a body glow, you can use them on the eyes. She did come out with some eye products, like in an eyeshadow palette, and I just was not feeling it. Like, I've kind of realized that some of her palettes, even though I like them, I don't love them enough. And, like, the shades weren't unique enough for me to, like, purchase it. So that is why I decided to skip out on those. And she came out with some cream eyeshadows. I wish she would have came out with more of like the glitter, liquid glitter eyeshadows. I would have been all over that, but she did not. So that's kind of why I was just like, meh, I will stick to face products. And then as far as her lip stuff goes, lately I just feel like a lot of her collections are so similar. I did get her like four pants, like four, like the sister one with, with Kim. Yeah. So we will definitely review that when I get that in, but I didn't pick up any of the holiday ones just cause one, I'm not a big red fan. So it kind of just wasn't worth it to me. And her minis are minis. Like, I feel like you could only get like two or three uses out of like her mini lipsticks. They're, they're, they're like the size of a thumbnail, you know, like. So I decided to pass on that. So this is definitely a pretty color. I actually like that a lot. So that is Mary Bright on my eyes. You can just see it's a pretty shimmer. I'll buff that out in a minute, but I'm too excited to get the other stuff done, so I don't care. So for the blush, we're gonna pick up a JH04 brush. I'm gonna dip in really lightly. I'm really nervous about this one. All right, so. It looks like it picked up a good amount of product. If you guys have used her blushes, let me know what you think, but we will see. I feel like she had blushes for a while and then she kind of took a break, so I don't know if that means they were like bad formula before or what. All right. So the good thing is, is I think it's very buildable. It's not going on like super, super pink, which I very much appreciate because I am not a big pink blush fan. I, I don't know what made me buy this. I don't know. So I'll layer on a little extra for you guys, but gosh, I get such nice round cheeks now that I'm in my off season. So you definitely get color, but I don't, I don't hate it. Like I said, I don't love blush, so grain of salt. Like I'm already looking at it and I'm just like, <laughs> diffuse a little. But it's not bad. Like I think this is will be nice, like collection like maybe this will make me dip my toes in some more blushes wet have a pink undertone because all my blushes are very very neutral like tannish type colors okay let's get into the fun pipe 
highlights. All right, so let's go ahead and dip into Snow Angel. I have zero highlight on right now. Oh, oh, that's nice. All right, so that is Snow Angel. It is, I like the tone of this. It's not too silvery, but it's not like all my other gold. You know what I mean? It's definitely not a gold. It's kind of like a pinkish tint highlight. I'm feeling it. All right, let's go ahead and wet the brush just to see what we can do. Snow Angels. I don't like snow angels. I don't like the snow. I don't like the cold. I'm going to Iowa for Christmas. Wish me luck. I think I might not come back. So obviously wet, you can definitely, definitely intensify the look. I mean, I don't think I would go this, this extreme. But you can, if you want to. So definitely... Definitely a freaking highlighter. No disappointment there. All right, let's move on to the other side. We'll grab a clean brush. Just so you guys know, I am using the GH09 and the Morphe, like same exact brushes. So this is a different one. We are, since it is a loose powder, going to spritz the face, which I hate. Okay. So we're gonna do that first. Dip into Let It Glow. I'm actually really excited for the shade. All right. See what I mean by the ultra glows? It's like a tap and you're just like, oh. Ooh. So, yeah, that's that's a highlight. This, this. Mm -hmm. I would say out of the three, I think this one is my favorite for my skin tone. It's just that nice goldy type shade. I still really like this one, but I think I like this one more. What do you guys think? And let's go ahead for fun. And we're going to go merry and bright on top of this highlighter. So it just adds a little bit more of that pinkish tone. So yeah, yes, these are intense. Go here. I don't really like to highlight my nose, but we will do it for this video. A little up here. Let's take Let It Glow for that inner. Okay, I went ahead and decided we might as well just do the color bone. I'm going to do Merry Bright so that you guys can really see what it looks like, like on a highlighted area. Oh, 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 but like these are great for color bone. Okay. I think I'm highlighted to the point where like I can't possibly do any more. These can also be great if you're someone who likes to do like a little bit of like glitter in the center of your lips. We can do that. Cause I don't like glitter formula. She did come out with like those glitter lipsticks and I was just not into those. Like that's not my speed. I never think they're comfortable and I just don't feel like they're very flattering unless it's like literally in the center of your lips. But not enough for me to like reach for them to where I was like I pay however expensive they are. So anyways, let's go ahead and talk about some of these real quick. This is Snow Angel right here. This is the Blush Swatched. I know these aren't great swatches, but they're not necessarily like, you know, they're not going to swatch the best. They applied on the face. That was the important part. So that is the blush right there. And then the ultra glows are actually right here, which you can barely see. So I'm going to actually try to swatch them again. All right, so I will say Snow Angel is pretty close to Mary Bright. So we'll swatch it right next to each other. They're not exactly the same, but they are similar, just in case you're wondering. So there's Mary Bright, and then there's the Snow Angel highlight. Let's go back in with Let It Glow. We'll do it on there. So sorry about my burn. I, uh... I tried to cook so it happens but I would say out of the three oh I don't know I mean I feel like all of them applied really well it's just more what you're into so for me I think I still will get use out of all three of these colors they fit my skin tone pretty well I do think pink kind of looks better on lighter tones where gold looks better on medium deep tones 
So for me, I will probably wear the Let It Glow the most. But I am looking at the monitor right now and I'm just like, look at this highlight. Like, and I love wet looking highlights. Like those, yes. Yes. So I think out of the, out of the, all of them, the powder highlight was my favorite as well as the Let It Glow. But I'm happy I got all three. I'm not like, neither of them were the same. They're different formulas. And so yeah, overall I'm happy. The blush, probably could have not gotten the blush. I'm kind of okay with it because I don't have anything similar to my collection. Sorry guys, I'm like sweating so I'm just moving my hair all over the place. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like one of those where I'm just like, I don't think it's amazing or anything like super unique. It's just I don't have any blushes in a pink tone in my collection really. I very much go for tans and peaches. So this will just be a nice addition. And like I said, I did get the setting powder, which I'm very interested in. These did feel super nice to the touch. Um, kind of like I said, the packaging doesn't feel like Luxe packaging. And they're not Luxe products, so I guess that's fine. Um, but the highlighter was... Snow Angel was $20. The Ultra Glows are $14, which they always are. Ultra Glows, I totally recommend, though. Like, I feel like they're one of Kylie's best products that she has. And then the blush was 18 so I will definitely do a review when I get the perfecting powder in. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. But yeah, overall, I'm not disappointed with any of the products. I'm not, yeah, I'm just kind of like, they, they did what they, I thought that they were going to do and they worked well, so I'm not, I'm not unhappy about anything. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are going to pick up, what shade was your favorite, if you guys picked up any of the other products. Um, but yeah, I just was not into the eyeshadow palette, it just wasn't unique enough for me. And the cream shadows, although I love my sparkly cream shadow type eyes, I just realized I have too many pots that I've recently bought that I'm just like, I need to use those up before the other ones dry out, so I was just not willing to add those to my collection. And for those of you wondering, I do think that these are only sold on Kylie Cosmetics. I looked up all the reviews and stuff and it says that even though Kylie is coming to Ulta or it's already at Ulta, it's really just the lip kits. So nothing holiday collection wise or anything like that. So if you want to get it, I think you have to get it on Kylie Cosmetics. I'm sure they're going to be restocks because it's a Christmas collection and it's not even Christmas yet. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I am happy. I look like a donut and I'm very excited about it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to watch myself in the mirror all day and just be like, oh, so, ah. Okay, that's enough out of me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.